Hello everyone. Today I am analyzing Chipsec data using the GeneXplain platform. My interest is to analyze Chipsec peaks which are identified as binding profile for snail transcription factor. For this task I have identified a dataset from GEO GSE 127183. The reference to the original publication is mentioned in the description. For my analysis I have uploaded the sample GSM 3629871. The source of this sample is colorectal cancer cell line, which were treated to induce expression of snail 1 transcription factor. These are chipsec peaks aligned to HG19 reference genome. I upload this sample in the GeneXplain platform. These are the peaks located on chromosome 1 uploaded in the GeneXplain platform. In this part, I plan to identify enriched transcription factor binding site motifs using the classical match approach. As I want to work on the latest genome build, I use the method lift over to convert the current peaks in HG19 to HG38. Once the method run is completed, the peaks with HG38 build are saved in your project. To identify transcription factor binding site motifs on these peaks, we open the workflow on the start page. To have a close look at this workflow, we can see the workflow uses the method site search on track to identify enriched motifs. The yes and no sites are further optimized with a p-value cutoff of 0.01. The optimized site matrices are converted to genes which are further annotated to give a list of transcription factor table. I input the snail1 chipset peaks in the input form as the yes set. No set is the default no set. Species and annotation source is selected as human. The transfer profile with vertebrate matrices and cutoffs calculated as human genome with p value cutoff of 0.001 is selected. This profile contains 6190 transfer matrices. After filling the input form, I press run workflow and the workflow starts executing. It is important to mention here that this profile contains matrices for snail 1 factor. If we see this matrix entry SNA in the transfer database, we can see that the snail 1 factor is linked to the matrix SNA. My expectation is to find matrices SNA overrepresented in the yes set. Upon completion, an output folder is created with several output files. The table site optimization summary includes the matrices, the hits of which are overrepresented in the yes track versus the no track. When we sort this table by yes-no ratio, we can see that motifs for SMAD factors, ETS, REST, CREB family members are extremely overrepresented in the snail peaks as compared to the no-set peaks. Let's search this table for SNA matrices. Indeed, we can see several SNA matrices all overrepresented above six folds, which is a very high level of overrepresentation. As I can see here, the site density in yes set is about 13 sites per 1 KB, but in no sets, it is 1.8 for all snail matrices, which shows that the yes set has a clear and statistically significant overrepresentation of the snail binding sites. The enriched transcription factor binding sites are visualized here in the genome browser. Here I can see the snail 1 binding sites on the peak regions with their genomic positions and binding sequence. The table transcription factors shows the list of factors that are associated with the positional weight matrices that are listed in the table site optimization summary. Each row shows the details of one transcription factor. Upon sorting this table by yes-no ratio, we can see snail transcription factors with a significantly high overrepresentation. We can also see several other factors like SMAD family factors, ETS1 and CREB with a significantly high overrepresentation. To summarize, in this part, I have identified enriched transcription factor binding sites in the snail1 peaks applying one of the pre-existing workflows in the GeneXplain platform and the profile with transfer matrices. 
one can see the snail one motifs are clearly over represented in the peak regions also binding motifs for several other families of transcription factors are significantly over represented this may give us an idea that snail one factors cooperate with several other factors to regulate gene expression in the investigated colorectal cancer cells in the further parts i plan to apply some of the other approaches for peak analysis i'll show how to identify and functionally classify genes near the peaks how to identify de novo motifs in the peak regions and more stay tuned for more updates